opportunity. Beckons, who among you... Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. Figuratively, I hope. Well, yes and no. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade, that an elder Dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Carava. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity, but those that do develop a hide of phenomenal value. A hide you want to sell? Eventually, yes. Though I would have it tanned first that it might be crafted into marvels the likes of which the world has never seen. Dread Evis skin is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide of a well-aged beast? Now, that would fetch such coin that Gilbot himself might weep with envy. Bring me that beast's skin, and I will share with you the bounty of our combined labors. All right. I'll hunt your Evis. Of course you will. When one lives in such troubled times, it is a fool who lets opportunity slip his grasp. Leave Tabor through the East Gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the checkpoint at Tovany, you are a mere stone's throw from the fields of Carava. I eagerly await your safe and, above all, triumphant return. Cyril, how fares the search? Well, your grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril. Knight of the Undying and bearer of the Burning Quill, charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of His Grace, Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many Undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is, and has ever been, our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you, if there is nothing further. No, you are dismissed. Your grace. To Canva, then. We'll talk about this later. Cyril. You seem very. Um... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua.
The free cities and a sea? Sure, this is the right way, brother. Still plenty of fighting in the air. Here's your hide, as requested. I worried you might never return. Quickly, let me see it. Oh, as supple as a maiden's cheek, yet as adamant as her virtue. This is everything I had hoped for, and more. Clearly, my trust in you was not misplaced. You must be a hunter of considerable talent to have bested the beast with nary a scratch. Join me as my honored partner. With my means and your might, we shall be as wealthy as the merchant kings of Zemeckis. I don't plan on making a habit of this. I'm busy enough as it is. Very well. Though I believe fate had a hand in our meeting, it would be unbecoming of me to beg. Do not allow me to keep you from being about your business. Here, for the hide. <laughs> 